ultimately, all cryptography is, is the art and science of protecting data. And that one small statement has a lot of profound impact. There's an awful lot that actually goes into cryptography, math, science, process, uh, people, behavior. It's equal parts, I would say, almost art and science. And you'll see that some of this stuff here is just pure math and some of it is actually not quite math, but all of it goes into protecting data. And that's really all cryptography is about. The purposes of cryptography are something that some folks seem to forget. Primarily, cryptography is confidentiality, keeping secrets secret. If I'm exchanging data with someone, I want to make sure that only they get the data, that some eavesdropper or interceptor or something like that does not actually get the data. Or if they do get the data, they're not able to make heads or tails of it. One that's not as commonly recognized is the integrity factor, which is ensuring that when I am communicating with the person I want to talk to, they can prove somehow that the data has not been changed since I sent it. So if I write, I love you on a piece of paper and send it off, I don't have someone in the middle erasing the word love and write hate. And if they do alter that, they're probably going to know, and the recipient is definitely going to know that the message has been altered. They may not be able to get the original message back, but they're sure as heck going to know that that message has been altered and they'll be able to discard it or let me know or something else. And finally, the concept of non-repudiation. If I write, I love you on that piece of paper and send it off, I'll encrypt it to provide confidentiality. I'll use hashing functions to provide the integrity. And then I'll use some aspect of cryptography called non-repudiation, which means that when the recipient receives the message, they can decrypt it to ensure that the message was safe from eavesdropping and that only they received it and only I sent it. They'll ensure that the message hasn't been altered since I sent it. So they'll recognize that I love you is exactly what I wrote. And this concept of non-repudiation means they can prove that I sent the message, that no one else could have possibly sent the message except me. That's how all of these factors play together, and they all fit nicely under the umbrella of cryptography.